This lesson is going to focus on what is a fraction and we're going to be talking about the part and the whole. So when we start uh, making models, so this is the concrete examples of what is a fraction, we can use a geoboard. Now it's a three-dimensional object and when we do anything on the geoboard we're talking about an area. So we're talking either a rectangle or a square. Now I can also show this with paper and I can do it with paper folding as well. This is a two-dimensional way of showing it. So this is your pictorial representation and this is your concrete. Both of these are talking area. Another way I can show fractions are with Cousinaire rods and I'm going in one dimension here only. I'm just making a line and what is my fraction as part of that line? And the last way we can show fractions are as parts of a set. So if I took these and flip them over, for example, I can say two out of five groupings are red, or I could say six out of 15 are red. So we've got three distinct ways to show fractions. So if we were given the whole and the fraction, I want to find the part. Okay, so if this, okay, maybe I'll start this way. It said, if my rectangle is a whole, I want to find a fourth. So I could say I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I just want to have an eight here. So what would a fourth look like? So then I can take my elastic. See, there's another fourth, another two, another two, and another two. There's a fourth. I could take that same rectangle and say, well, what does a half look like? and I can put it on like that. Now, if I was doing the linear model, if this is my whole, show me what a quarter looks like or a fourth looks like. So then I would have to take my other blocks and find something that four equals. So if brown is one, or whole, the red, is one-fourth. And if I did it with my set, okay, here's my set of counters. If I put them into groups of three, to make it just a little more visual, I've got four groups of three, one out of the four, or one-fourth, is red. Okay. Now, if I change my, my question, okay, now I'm going to give you the part and the fraction. Now I'm looking for what does the whole look like? Okay, so if this is one third, what does my whole look like? Well, if that's a third, I have to have three of equal size. So my white is the whole. If I have, if my purple is a third, then I would have the orange is a 10, so if I wanted to find out what this equals, I could say, well, it's 10 plus 2. So there would be my whole. And my purple is the third. Okay. If I had, let's say I have four chips. Let's make it five. Five chips, if that's my third, well, how many chips do I need 
to show that that's a third. So even though we're doing the same fraction, we can represent it many, many different ways. Now what you could do with this as well is you could make a think board and that's where we need to show the problem. So if this is a third, what does the whole look like? I could have the students make all of these different models. There's my three-dimensional. If you like, take a digital picture of it and then put it on a poster. Now the next step would, to be, would be to make a picture. So then they would actually draw it with their, their pencils all these and or I could use my paper as as my example here so here would be three-dimensional then I would go to two-dimensional and then I could actually use the words and the symbols to describe what I'd shown now if we switch our focus now we're going to, given the, the hole in the part, let's find out what is the fraction. So if I was doing my geo board, okay, there's my hole, and here's my part what is this, what fraction is the blue if I put it into the red area. So if we picked it up, it would be one, two, three, four, five equal pieces. This would show one fifth. If we did it with the Cousinier rods, if the green is our whole, then we would find out what fraction is our yellow. Now we would have to do have to find out just how long is this green. So the green the green has six parts to it. And if I put my yellow up there, it's five, so it's five, six. Likewise with my set, okay, here's all my my counters, three of them are red. What is my fraction? So those are different approaches that you can go to show children what is a fraction. And if we only show them one way, they don't have a deep understanding of it. They need to know all ways.